Good afternoon and I welcome you to the European Garden Book Award in 2021. The third prize was won by Anne Cigaretno and is called Some Snowdrops. It's a great uh, book and as you can see uh, to my left maybe that, there, that this is basically the only thing which currently blooms in our garden too since it's March and quite cold and dreary still. Great book, I can just advise you to buy it and read it. The second place was won by um, Jacqueline van der Kloot and is called One Year in My Garden. And it has inspirational combinations for plants for every kind of garden. So um, this is a great book. Congratulations to your second prize. And finally, the first prize was won by Nigel Dunnett and is called Naturalistic Garden Design. And um, this basically stunned the jury so much that it really, really, really deserved the first prize. So um, this is just a gorgeous book. It serves as an ecological and sustainable example to firstly design and redesign your garden or any kind of garden. And um, yes, it's kind of an, an, an idol or can be used as an idol or an inspiration for any, any author or any international reader who wants to have it. So read it, buy it, and um, yes, congratulations to you all. Hi, it's a huge honour for my book, Naturalistic Planting Design, in the German language edition, to win first prize for the European Garden Book Awards in 2021. It's a really special honour, of course, because naturalistic planting design is a European idea which has spread around the world and now inspires countless numbers of people. Um, so it feels really appropriate and really special for this book to win European Garden Book for 2021. You know, the time has never been more perfect to think about changing the way we plan and plant our gardens towards a more sustainable, a more ecological, a more natural way. And I hope this book gives people the inspiration and the ideas to go on that journey, to experiment for themselves, because sometimes the whole area of naturalistic planting design can seem very technical, very complex. I really hope the book opens a lot of people's eyes to just what is possible. So thank you again. It's a huge honour and very special to be awarded first prize for the Garden Book, uh, European Garden Book for 2021. category will be the European Garden Photo Award and I will present it with my colleague Eva Grünbauer in the castle since it's getting quite cold and dreary here. We're kind of losing the sun too. So um, see you in one second. Und jetzt verleihen wir noch den Garden Photo Awards und dazu habe ich Emily von Süßkind bei mir, die uns jetzt dazu noch ein bisschen was erzählt. Genau, also wir ähm, prämieren den in der Ko Kooperation mit IPOTI, also das ist der International Garden Photography Award of the Year und normalerweise findet es auch im Savoy in London statt, also ganz schick, aber natürlich dieses Jahr wird es auch ausfallen mit Corona leider. Und immerhin 1000 Euro bekommt genau, der Gewinner. Genau, 1000 Euro Prämie bekommt hm? der Gewinner, genau. Dann sagst du uns, wer gewonnen hat. Genau, der dritte Platz, the third place, was won by Ulrike Adam, Moongate, Schlosspark den Lue, Bavaria, Germany. And the um, explanation of, uh, of the win was um, as the following. Through the famous Moongate of Schloss den Lue, the viewer is given an idealized view of paradise. It was both breathtaking and mystical at the same time. The second place was won by Vincenzo Di Nuzzo, Villa Perfidia Garden. The gardens of the 18th century Villa Perfidia represent a mixture of different styles. Designed by Duchess Anna Maria Sordo Gioevara, according to the model of the Italian garden, it underwent some transformations over the years following the influence of Lady Emma Hamilton, then wife of the British ambassador in Naples, William Hamilton. The British romantic taste is reflected in the garden by the plantation of new tall trees such as giant camphor and tulip trees. The garden thus became an example of the combination of Italian geometric rigor and English informal style. And lastly, the first place was won by Richard Bloom, Sunrise in the Tiata Valley. I captured this vivid autumnal sunrise scene with matching hues from the planting in the experimental garden designed by Alvaro San Pedro in the Tiata Valley in Spain.